Hello, you're watching Got Space Game, and it's time for DCS and 3 or less. Today we're in the FA-18 Hornet using the Slam ER or Slammer Harpoon variant alongside the DL-13 Datalink pod. This lets us manually select a target in the terminal phase. It takes a bit of setting up, but you'll see it's a lot of fun. This missile has some other cool features as well, so those will be covered in another video. As always, useful control bindings will be on screen at the end of this video. Check master arm on, go to air to ground mode. Silence the radar, and exit. Select the slammer, and the DL-13. That's our data link pod. Note that our missiles are now aligning. We'll have an indication here when they're ready to go. For safety, I'm going to bring up the HUD on the right display. Select instantaneous fusing. You set that once for both missiles. Set flight level. I'm sending both of these high. Now let's go to our slammer display to set up some more parameters. Here you can select the sensor activation distance. That's the range from the target in nautical miles up which the IR sensor becomes active and starts guiding to a heat source. This is the point at which you can also take control of the missile. I've set it to 15 on both missiles. Now let's go to the mission page, put the missile in TOO mode for target of opportunity. Now we can attack a waypoint. Select the target waypoint, designate. Step to the next missile, TOO mode, unbox target, waypoint designate. I'm inside the large circle on my HSD, which means that I'm within firing range already. Turning into waypoint 2, we can bring up the data link page on the right hand display. Choose your weapon, left hand pylons at the top. If we were to launch now, this will be the time until the sensor goes active. Current station is shown here, so you can cross check that against your stores page. Ok, we're all set up to fire. Turn autopilot off. Throttle down to help with the spacing between these missiles, as they are quite slow to the target. Hold weapons release. Greyhound. The aircraft's now way out of trim, and that's actually helping me to turn. That'll ensure a bit more missile separation, as my second missile will have further to fly. Check the angle. Level out. And I'll fire my second missile now. Greyhound. At this point, it's perfectly possible to turn tail and RTB. But I know there's no threats here, so I'm just going to fly on towards the target. If you turn away from the missiles, switch your data link to use the aft antenna. Let's bring up the HUD on the left hand display. On the data link page we've got the distance from the missile to the target, and the time until its sensor goes active. You can change channel on the UFC to switch between the two in-flight missiles. At 15 miles the sensor goes live, and you can see as it starts to track onto some targets. Sensor select right to soy the data link. Hold TDC to press to freeze the picture, and slew the X onto your target of choice. Release the TDC to start tracking. Note that the X is just a cursor, the plus sign shows the current heading of your missile. Just going to tune up the designation. That's a good track on the first missile, so let's switch the data link to track the second. Hold the TDC and slew. Good effect on the first target. We'll follow this second missile right the way down. I've been Dan, you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Got Space Game. Massive thanks go to Rambi, who is my first Kofi supporter. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more 3 minute DCS tutorials covering all of your favourite modules.